on to our last oh, one. So, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it to absorb for 24 hours. That means I can take a nap? It's morning. It's what? Princess Toy Review. Hi, Princess Princess, Princess Fam. Hi, Prince and Princesses, it's Princess Granny. Today, we're gonna be doing the changing color celery science experiment. All right, Granny, now let's go over everything we need for our science experiment. Well, we need different size speakers or glasses, mm -hmm. some water, food coloring, celery, and something to stir. So first off, we're gonna start by adding water into our beakers. I'm or gonna cups. eat some celery in the meantime. Don't eat it, if we need it for the science experiment, Granny. Oh, we're not experimenting eating celery? No, we're experimenting how celery absorbs water because they need water to grow. It could absorb the water in my belly. Okay, now let's add about the same level of water to each glass. So that's good there. And some more here. And some into our cup. And onto our last oh, Thank you, Granny, for holding me Ooh, up. Okay. Of course. I think we're all done adding the water. And now I get to add some food coloring. I'm going to put some yellow right in here. Drop. And now I get to stir and mix. Awesome, good job, Granny. Thank you. And now I'm gonna add green. Okay, I really hope this green shows up since our celery is kind of green itself. I'm gonna add one, two, three drops, yeah. And then I'm gonna mix. My turn again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some blue. Ooh, that's gonna be Ooh, green. Yes. One, two, three, and four. And mix. Okay, so so far we have green, blue, and yellow. I think I'm gonna do purple. And purple is a really dark food coloring, so I think I'm just gonna add two drops. So one drop and two drops and again i'm gonna use my stirring stick to mix it and do i get to put the red in the last glass yep we save the best for last one two three and we mix it okay so we have all our colors here we have green purple red blue and yellow leave a comment below to let us know which one is your favorite color hmm there's no pink granny which one's your favorite i know color? there is no pink so i'm going to choose red because we're so close to christmas yep and hmm, i'm gonna have to go with my purple Okay, Louie. So for the next step, you're gonna have to ask an adult for help because we have celery sticks here and you're gonna need them to cut the very bottom of your celery stick before you add it into the water. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Uh, yes, we just stick it in. Yep, so I'm gonna put this one into the green, this one into the purple, red, blue, and yellow. Okay, so me and Granny are all done setting up for our experiment. But Granny, what do you think is gonna happen when the water absorbs to in the celery? Hmm, I think the water is going to absorb all the way up the celery, mm -hmm. all the way up into the little leaves, and they're gonna be the color of the water and look like beautiful flowers. Oh, that's a really good hypothesis. And I think I might have to agree with it. Yes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it to absorb for 24 hours. That means I can take a nap? You can take a really, really long nap. You may wanna wake up and eat too. I'm out of here. All right, we'll see you in 24 hours. Mm, this is the celery. Mm, mm, it's the food colors. 
itself is green you can see a little bit let's flip it upside down and ooh, see you can see the capillaries all there let's check out the purple and whoa actually this one looks a little blue hmm but maybe because there's blue and red to make purple let's flip it over and oh this kind of looks like unicorn colors check out the bottom of this one Oh, let's check out the red one. Mm -hmm. <gasps> There's even some red in the leaves. Can you see it? This is awesome. And whoa, look, I got red capillaries too. And we also have to check the yellow one out. And look, <gasps> these leaves haven't changed too much. I guess they're a little lighter. I would say they're a little more yellow, yeah. Yeah. And let's check the bottle. Not much, but then again, yellow is not a dark color like all the other ones. All right, so that was a really fun part of the science experiment, but that's not it. We're actually gonna do a round of trivia and you guys are invited. So if you know the answers to these questions, make sure you leave a comment below to let us know. But this time, I'm gonna ask Granny to see how much she knows about celery and water. Okay. Mm, so the first question is, do you know what the movement of water and celery is called? What is an example of? <gasps> I know, I know, it, 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 it's, it's capillary action. Ding, 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 that is correct. And, mm, oh, I got one. Capillary action is important to who? There's two answers to this Granny. question. Wait, not just granny. Mm -hmm. All humans and plants? Yep! Mm, you're doing really good, Point granny. Number two. Now, can you tell me where does the water move through the plant? In what order? You have to get in the correct order. The order! Mm -hmm. well, from bottom to top. So it moves from the root to the stem to the leaves! You're doing really oh, good. Thank but we're you. about to stomp Granny with the next question. Oh, no. Let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. What does the water contain? There are two answers to this question. Two. What mm -hmm. does the water contain? Yep. So what's it? What is within the water? Yep, that the plant or the humans need to survive. I know. It's kind of like food. It's nutrients and minerals! <gasps> Whoa, you got them all right, Granny! Yes! You are like the smartest person I know, besides myself! Oh, I know. And this is the end of today's video! If you like more science experiments, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe! Bye, friends and princesses! Bye! Bye! Bye.